What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year 2020, man. I hope it's going to be a great year for you guys. 2019 was awesome for us. Yeah, it was a great year. Obviously there were some ups and there were some downs along the way. A little and, all over the place. And you guys stay with us the whole way. So first, before we jump into today's video, just want to say thank you so much for all the support you guys showed in 2019. We have some awesome big news, uh, exciting things coming basically for 2020 that will be a talking about at the end of this video yes. also the winner of the golden club will be announced at the end of the video live we'll be doing a live drawing will be live for us not for you guys but we'll be doing a live drawing for the winner of that and also i asked you guys hey questions what do you guys want to know i'll be answering those kelsey will be answering those as well at the end so stay tuned at the very end but today's video is the very last round of golf in 2019 we filmed it well, nine holes. Yeah, it's only nine holes because Kelsey was sick. Unfortunately, we want, I want to do a round with her. That will be coming to the channel very soon. We're going to be filming that actually tomorrow. So Kelsey's first round of golf will be tomorrow. But since she was getting sick, she didn't play. And we only played nine holes. We didn't do full 18. We had a small audio issue, issue as well. Small might be uh, a little bit of an understatement. We'll jump into the video right now. You guys are going to be hearing us and also seeing us commentate because we had no audio yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so we're doing it. We're doing it live. So we'll jump in right now. Old American, my home course, hole number one is a par four, 423 yards. I think you yak this one. I hit this one pretty good. Now, this this hole is, camera work right now, is oh. all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're working on that as well in the future, getting maybe a gimbal or some a steady cam just to make it a little smoother because it is sometimes a little bit erratic. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's okay. But hole number one, par four. There's a little bunker. I'm playing the blue tees today, um, which, what is that? The blue tees, 3,200 yards, so it's not that long. Yeah. I really wanted to make uh, some birdies. I wanted, I wanted to make some birdies today. And, uh, oh, nice zoom in on my face there, the back of my well, head. That was a good shot. Yeah. Just off to the right. So we're playing up. I'm playing up a tee box. I wanted to make some birdies in my last round. Uh, what do I have here? I have 140 yards. The wind was heavily in my face, and it was car path only. Oh. And I remember telling you, because I was like, hey, let me just tell you what club to use. I told you initially pitching wedge. You did, and then you were like, I was like, no, I think Bring nine. my nine. Yeah. So like they say, guys, when it's breezy, swing easy. So I'm doing a nine iron from 140. Just kind of like a three-quarter swing, kind of controlling it. The pin is front right. So oh I'm trying to gosh. play this thing off to the right. I didn't know you took that much out of the ground. And this, you can see the wind's in the face. And oh, there you go. Yeah, that was a good shot. That was a really good shot. Little, <laughs> little course, left. Yeah. I felt good. It's always good to stick it. This is actually a really, really hard hole when the pin Did isn't front right. Did you say you've right. never birdied this hole before? I think I've birdied a couple, maybe once what? before. Maybe once or twice. I haven't had that many birdies on this hole. Because the pin normally isn't here. This is a really easy pin placement. Um, the pin's normally short left or back right. Is this the hardest tough. pin placement right now? No, this is the easiest one. Oh, okay. But they normally don't have it here. So what that's why I, I don't have a lot of birdies. This is what? This is a seven foot putt. This is going to the... This is going to go yeah. to uh, the viewer's left, my right, putting. And it's just a ball. Or no, it goes the other way. Oh! Glad you read that on the green there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought that was going yeah. that way the whole way. Okay. Starting off with the birdie, guys. Hole number two, par four, 414 yards, dog leg left. This is the one you always try to hit. Sorry. This is the one you always try to hit straight and it ends up going to the well, right. Well, because if you can go left, if you go on the left hand side here and cover over those bunkers, you really have such a short second shot into this, uh, into uh -oh. the green. Swinging. Swinging little shot tracer, but yeah, I always bail out right. I don't know why, but it's not a bad swing. I mean, the good news is there's a lot of room on the right hand side there, so it's fine if you. Yeah, I'm just in the rough hand, rough on the right hand eh, side. Eh, 50 50. Yeah, <laughs> but the problem is here is the pin is back left, so you can see kind of that bunker is just so close. It's just there's like a little cutout here, so I have. 135 yards in. I'm going with a pitching wedge, and um, maybe should have gone with a. No, this was the right club. Oh, this was just... this was exactly the right club. I just thought was... the wind was going to affect it and hold it off. Yeah, the wind. Was and it didn't, and it just shot it straight into the bunker on the left hand side. 
and uh, I'm not happy there. No, you're not. I was too aggressive. I made birdie, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go for it. And so now I have this awkward, awkward Look lie. Look at this swing. Oh, yaka. Uh, yaka. <laughs> <laughs> Super awkward. The ball is so below my feet here, and I'm a little bit short side. I have a little bit of green to work with. And you're trying to hit under the ball. But yeah, I have to get this super sumo stance. wide stance to just be able to get something up. And to be fair, I honestly, I'm happy with that. From that, from that view, I thought it was going to just plop right in. Well, there's also a really good chance, too, of sculling it because you're in that you're weird so, stance. Yeah, you're so you have a chance of, of picking up a little bit and... Uh, and and also, just do we like, it straight do we like this view of putting now yeah i this is a good question let us know in the comments guys do you like the right behind the view somebody made this comment in one of my last course vlogs yeah. saying hey you know camera view right behind the hole okay and i was like oh, okay we'll try it so that's what kelsey was doing here putting the camera right behind the hole let us know if you guys want to see that more or if you like it where kelsey just kind of goes random no, because sometimes you go behind. But I go rogue sometimes. Yeah, but you're no, you're mostly standing. You're not really in yeah, the squatting, a squatting I'm position. Like, I'm squatting for you guys. Yeah, so I'm really obviously dialed into this green. These greens, guys, are really, really tough. Um, a lot of subtle breaks and a lot of grain. Here, I just hit it. Oh! I just hit it a little bit too firm. A little bit too firm on that line. I forgot about that. I don't know. Um, and right there, man. Went from one under to back to even with a bogey on this hole. I like those shoes. Yeah, those shoes, they were actually kind of comfortable. They might be a size too large. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but hole number three, one of my favorite par fives on the course, 539 yards from, from the tee box today. This is where I'm always scared to hit from my tee box because I feel like You've I'm going to You've hit one shot yapping. on this hole. So? You've played this hole once. Not like full out. But it's a little dog like left, guys. If you can blast one out there, you can get in the speed slot and have it yes. just fly. And that's exactly what I did on this shot. I was pretty happy with this. Just taking on the left hand side over those bunkers, hit the speed slot. It just shoots all the way forward. And uh, if you get close to that little cart path that cuts through the fairway, that's when you know. Now, Check this the shot, wind. Check the wind. we had, uh, what do we have? 170? Is that right? Yeah, we had 170. So your nine iron. Well, 170. Yeah, it was it was a perfect nine iron distance. I, I don't know. I don't what know what happened up? here, huh? What did you pick up? This was a nine. Oh, and you flew the. Well, the problem is this green. When you go up here, we'll see the green is so narrow. Yeah. It's like it's so hard to hold this green, and I thought that was money. I'm actually curious where that landed. Oh, it just it just landed on the back on the of the edge. green. And it landed on the fridge and it started rolling backwards. And if you're a little bit long on this green, guys, it'll roll 20 yards. Like because the grass. Yeah, I it landed probably right there. It just rolled out an extra 15 yards or so down. No, oh, I got the hiccups right now down the hill. Nice thing is I am going into the wind here. Um, I think that's why nine was a little too much. I should have gone pitching. Because you were with the wind. The wind was at my back. And also being short is not bad. Yeah. So I should have gone pitching wedge. Um, but 170 pitching wedge just seemed insane. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I've got this nice little 58 here. Just looking to kind of fly it, uh, you know, halfway to the hole with some spin and let it roll out the rest of the way and give myself a good birdie look. This is normally a birdie hole for me. And that's exactly what I did. Checks up nicely and have like a three or four footer for my birdie, which I'm obviously stoked about. Always when you have a decent look for birdie, you're happy. And this is this is the hole you have to birdie on the front nine. There's there's a lot of tricky holes on the front nine, so the birdie holes, you gotta get it in, you can't mess so up. So I see this going straight, and you said it was going to the left. I don't remember what I said. It was pretty straight, though. If I said yeah. it was going to the left, it wasn't going yeah, much. Yeah, you're like, it's going to the left. Um, all right, hole number four, guys, par three, 161 yards. The pin is in the back left, which I personally think is the most difficult pin to get to on this green. Normally, I would just aim for the middle of the green and have a 20, 25 footer for birdie. What were you saying to me right there? Uh, I don't know. I was throwing up the, the Hawaiian, like, yeah, bro. Um, but today, I was feeling it. I honestly was feeling the, it. The pin on this was back left. Yeah, and I was feeling it, so I went right at it. 
Uh, what I hit here? Four, I, four. I hit a pitching. Oh, so this is 161 pitching wedge, with the wind right to left, and I just overcooked oh. it a little bit to the oh, left nice. hand side. A little bit, a little bit of a closed <laughs> club face, and it just again sailed over the green. I will now that I'm watching this vlog. I will totally. We totally need to get a gimbal. Is it too? Yeah. It's too sh shaky. Well, for me, I'm like, geez, man. Are you and it was like very, it very. It was windy. It was very windy, but. I think also like holding it closer to your body helps it. Holding mm -hmm. it out here because it is a heavy camera. It's a little shaky. Huh. But yeah, we're 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 working on getting a gimbal. How long, is, how long is this putt? You think? So, well, first off, I'm chipping it. Oh, you are chipping it. Uh, what did I write down? I got a seven yard chip here. A what? It might be a little seven yards. It might be a little bit more than seven. That's more than seven. Yeah, yards. this might be more like ten yard chip. Into the green, which if you've never chipped around uh, greens in Texas or Florida, very grabby Ooh, and it kind of. Yeah, that might be like 12 yards. What am I talking about? That was not a seven yard chip. No. But yeah, that's exactly what happened. Just my club just kind of grabbed a little bit into the grain and stubbed it a little bit. So I've got this little bit of a putt. Kelsey with this zoom in situation. Well, I gotta get your, your what's your I mean, this is perfect framing right here. This looks great. Oh. And you can see this thing on camera. This thing is going that way in a hurry. Yeah. Yep, boom, go. center cup, boom, one under. Getting through oh, that, oh, getting through that hole with a par, I'm happy every time. Yeah, that is a tough hole. Hole five is a weird one. This is a very weird it's hole. It's a par four, 448 yards. It's a dog leg left. Yeah, and it's a sneaky little sneaker. Well, it gets so so tight up there, so you have a couple options. You either need to lay up and have a long shot, or you hit straight over those trees, or you just bomb one. But depending on where the pin is, too, you need to be like the pin today was on the back right. So my ball needed to be way left. Just kind of blocked it out to the right hand side and I knew instantly, I was like, I'm Well, look at the grass too right over here. It's freaking whipping from left <laughs> to right. The wind, yeah. All right, so I'm on the right side of the fairway here. Well, I'm actually in the rough. Winter time though at Old American, it's really nice. They keep the grass super low. They also keep like the native fescue and stuff super low as well. So I only have, Hole five here, I only have, what, 110 yards? So I don't have that much. I'm going with a sand wedge, but the pin is it's hard right to see. right behind that bunker. Yeah, the, bun the bunker on the right-hand side, it is tucked right there. There is not much space for a ball to land on that little top shelf. See, my game, I would have tried to go. Yeah, but I flighted that down so good. And just, just on the short right-hand side, not bad. I'll take that. I've got a little putt here. Like maybe what I say it was. My distances are always so bad. I I have inside a nine footer. Inside ten feet. Why are you what? That was someone's you remember that was someone's ball mark. Oh, right in the way of yeah. I was like, what? Oh. Yeah, with these greens. Right in the way of your ball. Yeah, with these greens, they most people don't make uh Oh, the zoom. <laughs> most people don't make ball marks because the greens are so firm. Yeah. That a lot of people just don't even look for the ball mark because they're so used to not having one. But sometimes you can actually make one. So that one's just right in my mind. I had a, you know, that's perfectly legal to fix that. So I have myself illegal or legal? No, legal. You're allowed. You're allowed to do it. Go, 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 and this was so go, 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 go. Oh. such a tracking putt, and I left it short. I was really frustrated there oh. because as soon as I hit it, I knew it was on the perfect line. I just didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah. All right, hole six here, par three, 182 yards. I'm going with the no T technique. This was the first hole that I played on my yeah. little... Your three-hole stretch. Yeah, my little three-holer. Yeah, and Kelsey, guys, like we did say, Kelsey will be doing a full 18 at Old American tomorrow. Oh, we are filming tomorrow. I and need to get my vitamin C in. It, it's going to be long. You're going to have to... Yeah, I need a, like a lunch break or something. We might need a lunch break. All right, hole six, 182 get, yards, get going with a nine iron again. Nine. I'm feeling the nine iron. A lot of nine yeah, iron yards. a lot yard. of nines. Uh, and that was oh. just short right. Well, short left. Short right on the green. Did you see that flag? The wind's whipping. <laughs> um, and this course, honestly, this course, you can really do a lot of work on it yeah. when there's no wind. But 
when there's wind, this course becomes so, so difficult. And it's right on the water. There's nothing protecting yeah, there's it. Nothing it's just, blocking. it's just, it's just ripping, guys. Stalking his putt like Tiger. He's so not walking or blinking slow. But... I, I got this one for 18 feet. It might be closer to 20. Um, but yeah, this is a decent pin placement for this hole. Just middle of the green. This one, a lot of break left to right, though. Uh, this is going to be going. Uphill. Yeah, this is going to be going left to you guys, right for me. Woo! And again, another Breaks pretty good putt. Way too far. Breaks. Way too far. It I missed it half. A... Oh, I was going to say I missed it by half a ball. Missed it by half a ball. And at this point too, I'm starting to get cold. Oh yeah. So it I think I think at this moment freezing! we were like, hey, were you only playing nine holes? And no, I think I. I think um, it was. No, I think you asked. On this one. I think I think this was the hole that we decided only nine holes. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm freezing cold. Let's just get out and of here. Felt like booty. Wow, that was snuck, pretty close. Snuck that one in. Whoa. <laughs> Glad to be out of there. You can see the death bunker on the right hand side right there, guys. That is the death bunker. If you're in there, you're dead. Hole number seven is a par five. It's 496 yards. This one is a dog leg right. So he's going to try to be aiming for that little tree. Right yeah, that there. dark tree right in the middle of your screen. That's ideally the line I'm trying to take here, as you can see, because it just, it just cuts off so much. A lot of times I'll have driver wedge into this par five just by blasting it. But that's not the case today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I... I uh, got a little too quick, I think. Was a little too excited. Also, the wind was going right to left as well, which also didn't help. What? Look at that face. At first, I was like, where did I go? I was like, it is way left. But it being a shorter par five, I still have a chance here. Uh, we have 188 into this green, which is what a did really... You have here? This is a six iron. Wind a little bit now in the face. Still right to left, but a little bit more now in the face. And I knew like the way the place to miss it is on the right hand side of the green. You want to miss it short right yeah, or, or pin left, high right. Left is freaking mush. Left, left there's a, like a huge hill drop off. Into there's a the bunker lane. that's really tough. Left is really really hard. So normally at those kind of cedars or whatever those trees are, I just kind of blast it out to the right hand side. Um, but this one. You didn't even catch this one on the camera. I, you normally I, caught, catch them. I, yeah, that one. Was, it was left. That was that was hard. Yeah. I had no idea where that went. A little bit of a miss hit there, short left, which is exactly not where you want to be. We, That's kind of where I ended up. Uh, yeah, you were a little bit more on the right hand side, I think, and a little bit closer. But this was very close to where your chip shot was. And honestly, the pin, what where the pin is today, was very close to where your ball yeah. went. But when you were playing, the pin was in the middle yeah. of that. So I've got like a, what did I say, 27 yard, 30 yard pitch or something. I'm basically telling you right now, don't stand right next to the flag. That's why the camera is all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. It's just easier, I think, for you to track the ball when you're a little bit further away from the flag yeah. than being like right on top of it and like having to like have it, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here I'm just trying to open the club face a little bit. Coming out of the rough, I'm not going to be able to generate as much spin as I wanted, but I'm opening the club face and I'm just going to be trying to get get a lot of club head speed through the ball, try to get as much spin as possible to get this ball to stay somewhere near pin high. And I feel like I actually executed that pretty good. It was a little bit left, um, but all in all, it's a pretty good shot. I have a pretty good putt there I for Birdie. That, I thought that was a really good shot. Yeah. Got to check weird, both sides of the putt. Guys. It's weird uh, watching and commentating versus just like commentating live. Yeah. It was also it was weird not filming. Com yeah, it was weird not commentating while we were filming. Because we knew on hole one, like we tried this new mic situation, guys, and it was not good at all. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video, what we're going to be doing to have better audio because I know how important that is. And yeah, it, we were just like, and we knew we weren't doing yeah, audio. No. So it was very awkward, like not like Kelsey not commentating shots or me not even like talking about, I don't know what that was, but I did not like it. And I pat it down. Not sure if that's get legal. Out here, get out of here. Not sure, but that looks like almost someone like grabbed the ball out of the cup and like dragged. Drag. Watch. Yeah. Like, ooh, that might be, yeah. And just kind of pulled up the cup. And I was like, I was not feeling that. I was like, this needs to go in because this is also another 
par five that is there's only four par fives yeah there's only four par fives two on the front two on the back how did i know that i don't know um and the first two are really pretty much birdie opportunities and that was a dirty putt right it kind of like Ooh. i'm two under right now i'm feeling it wow. at this point too i'm kind of like can we play all 18 no <laughs> i know you were like I'm kind of playing really good right now. I was playing well, and it would have been nice to see what that, you know, 18 holes would have ended up at, but I understand you weren't feeling good. All right, hole eight, par three, 176 yards, going with a pitching wedge. Sorry, hair in the hair in the frame. Fixed it, though, for you folks. Wind is helping a little bit right to left. Pin is middle back. So the play here, what I'm thinking is, let's just hit this right side of the green, Hopefully, let the wind kind of draw it in. Also, if you get it on that top shelf of the green here, it, they normally the balls normally always just funnel to the back. So I'm, that's all I'm thinking. It's just a good strike <laughs> towards the right-hand side of the green. And honestly, kind of perfected it. Just going to land right there on the right-hand seat, and then you can start seeing it fall down slope. and gives me like a 15-footer or so. And I'm feeling it. I'm, I, I hit a decent couple shots here. So we got this putt, again, probably not the hardest pin spot. The pins, I think that's the other, Kelsey waving to herself Hi. in the shadows. The pins, I would say, are equally the, the um, what's the word? The pins on this course, like the locations, when they're in the hard spots, the course becomes so much more difficult. Yeah. Just like the wind. And the wind. You remember that when you remember when we played that one hole when we went out and practiced a little bit, and the pin was like on that shelf, and you couldn't get your putt to get up no. there. Oh, that was on hole freaking. That's hole ten hole or 10. eleven, eleven hole eleven. Oh, hole gosh. eleven. Very, like very six hard. Six putts. And I'm gonna also do a full course vlog, guys. I don't think. For oh, putt coming up. Hush. Silence. I missed this one. Oh. Yeah, it goes left. I was pissed. It, I was pissed. I think I, I think I actually just. This is where we took the thumbnail. Yeah, I think I just actually hit a bad stroke. Wow, two not under. gonna lie. You still two under. But for Kelsey's video, when she does the full eighteen, I don't think we're gonna get the drone out there and stuff. No. Um, I think we're just gonna film her shots and whatnot, and I can just talk about the holes. But I want to do a full eighteen course vlog with drone and everything at Old American because this is my home course, and we're gonna be doing a lot of videos here. So. I think Good. you're trying to set up Shot Tracer right now Good. as you're filming. Ness. Um, Why is this in the video? You know, just to give the people a full... Well, we got to okay. talk about this hole. Hole number hole nine. Hole number nine. It's a par four. It's 351 yards. Now, in your head, you're probably thinking, Brody, why do you have an iron? Why aren't you trying to drive this thing? Kelsey, why am I not trying to drive because it? Because it is a, the tightest dog leg left you've ever seen in your entire life. It's like a 90 it's degree like an, turn. It's like an L. Yeah, it is. Or J. Or J. Yeah. Basically, 240, 230 with an iron straight down, and then you're just gonna have a little wedge in straight to your left. Shot chaser! And I tried to do it, I tried to do a little sting sting here. I would say that was like a 6.5 out of 10 on the stinger scale. Stingers. It wasn't the greatest stinger in the world, but it put me in the perfect spot of oh, where I wanted to you. be. You're happy, you're happy. Yeah, I, I knew. You, you didn't look at the camera, because normally when you don't look at the camera, you're pissed, but. All right, check in the wind, folks. Yeah, a lot of wind, I think, is what I just said. A lot of wind in my face, and you can see, not sure what club I needed to hit here, so I brought all my wedges. Look at those wedges. I got a 58, 54, 50, nice and a pitching wedge. wedge. Those are my new wedges. A what's in the bag will be coming as well, guys. Also for Kelsey, a what's in the bag will be coming too. And if you guys are, while we're waiting for this shot, which is 109, 109 yards, and spoiler, I chose my 50 degree, like this video. That is one thing that YouTube has changed in the algorithm is not only watch time, like how long you guys watch the videos, but also liking the video and leaving a comment. Those are basically the three things that YouTube looks at to help your videos get seen by more people. So if you are enjoying the content and you want to help support the channel, just drop a like. It takes five seconds. Drop a like. Just drop a like. Just do it. All right, 109 yards, 50 degree. Pin is in a tough spot, back right, but I have a great angle at it. Flickering. Yeah. Exactly around the back. I have a great angle at it. I'm going right at it, and I just 
freaking fish. Open club face. Fish filleted. Straight to the oh. right in the bunker. Not happy. Oh. Not happy because I know that is a Woof. hard up and down. Woof. And I'm, I'm looking at it. Oh, in the bunks. And I'm up against the lip. Oh, you even drop your putter like crap. Well, I always drop it like that. What the oh, heck? Drop it like a pawn. Just trying to see where I need to land this one, basically, to get this thing close. It is not a good situation by any means. Um, but you know I'm going to give it my best effort. 58 degree here. At least you're not in that weird position that you were last time you were in the sand. Yeah. On hole two. Where I really had to get the sumo squat going. Yeah. Had to get deep with it. Oof. All right, just going to try to uh, create a lot of loft and dynamic loft. That Cameron McCormick taught you. Yeah, if you're not, if you have no idea how to, what I'm talking about, you can look up the video we did with Kelsey, uh, no, or sorry, the me. video I did with me yeah. in the bunker, and then you can also look up how to flop, how to hit a flop shot. He talks all about this and really helps Yee. getting out of the sand and basically doing what I just did there, throwing the ball straight up in the air by adding a lot of dynamic loft. You liked it. Yeah, it was decent. I mean, it gave me a really, really good shot here. This putt now is for a 33. This would be for a 33. It's a 30, par 35 because there's three par threes on the front nine. But this would be a 33 going in to the back nine if we did play a full 18 um, and shooting two under, man, which would be honestly pretty good. Normally, I kind of get after it on the back nine. Front nine. Because you're all warmed up on the front nine. Yeah. Honestly, front nine, to be fair though, front nine can go anywhere from like 32 to 38. Like because if I'm playing well, 32. Yeah, pin placement and win. I actually did a pretty good job. Also, I'm playing the blue tees. Yeah. You know, the, the tees I normally play are 200 yards further back. Yeah. So the course, I mean, from the tips, it's, it's 7,100 yards from the tips um, for the full course. And with the wind and stuff, it just some of these holes are just literally impossible. And they have holes like this too. You know, this is like a short par four, right? It's 350 yards, but it's really not that short of a par four because you have to lay up. You can't like go for it. So I'm giving this one the full treatment, trying to find uh, exactly what I need to be doing here to make this putt. The question is, I do I make it? it? To the right, right? Does it fall to the right? I think. Oh Ooh. man, that thing just snapped on me. That was a good stroke. I just didn't think it broke that much. Ooh. And uh, that is gonna do it with a 34. bogey. Dang, a bogey shoot a thirty-four. One under. One under. I mean, that's way better than what I would do. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not. It's not over. the. It's not the worst. It's not the best. But it is what it is. Yeah. All right, guys, we are gonna jump now into the Q and A. All right, first question, Chris Sather, why do you call each other Janice? A lot of people in the comments have been asking this. We are going to announce that. It's not actually that even that cool. Not even that cool. But we're gonna announce it when we hit 500,000 subscribers. So we'll keep it a little bit of a secret. Trevor Law wants to know, what made you get into golf? For me, I wasn't able to compete in Ultimate Frisbee anymore with the knee surgeries. I was kind of sitting around the house. I tried to do gaming on Twitch for a bit. Just wasn't cutting it. I wanted to get my competitive juices going again. Golf was a great outlet. And I got into golf because of this guy. Uh, Damien, son of Santana, do you ever think about changing the channel to Kelsey Smith Golf as she does most of the work? <laughs> uh, so the channel was Brody and Kelsey. Well, the channel was Brody Smith Vlog. Then it was, then it was Brody, Brody Smith, Smith Time. Then it was Brody, Brody and Kelsey. Kelsey and now it's Brody, Brody Smith, Smith Golf. Golf. I think I've changed it enough. I think most yeah. people know Kelsey's in most of the videos. Um, but yeah, she does do a lot of the work. Mark Towns wants to know, do you think Jason Garrett should be fired? I'm not really going to go into that because I don't really know all the details. I think it's easy for us to sit back and be like, oh, the Cowboys didn't make the playoffs yeah. because yeah. of the coach. But at a certain point, you kind of have to look at how the team has been performing yeah. over the last couple of years. And I think a lot of times... You might not even bring in a coach that's better, but just bringing in someone new kind of resets. Yeah. So I'm going to... No, I'm not going to answer I'm that. I'm not going to answer. Uh, Matt Fair wants to know, I'd love to hear about your Christian faith. We have some older videos where we dive into it a little bit more. So if you want to watch those, that's fine. But me and Kelsey actually met at Watermark, which was the church that we went to down in Dallas on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, our faith is huge for us. The ups and downs in life. 
it makes, I think it just makes life way easier when there's something bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's something nice to find in someone else. Like, I think that's maybe the most important thing is finding someone else that believes the same thing you believe. Seth Schumacher. After just going to a Dallas game, what was your most memorable experience as a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader? Also, what was the worst? Uh, my most memorable experience as a DCC was definitely USO tour. Uh, we went to all the domestic Air Force bases in the United States, and we just visited all the families that, you know, they put their life out on the line for us every single day, and that's what their job is, to be committed to protecting us. So that was probably my most memorable experience, and the worst was training camp. <laughs> uh, by far, hands down, probably the worst 12 weeks of my life. Just always anxious and have cameras in your face while you're not yeah. even knowing what you're going to be doing in August. Yeah. So, yeah. Intense. Tommy Egan, can you guys do more Kelsey course vlogs and training vids? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We're doing my 18 First 18 holes. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, probably doing some training stuff. We're going to be doing some challenges together. There'll be a lot more Kelsey videos yeah. golfing soon. Luis, Laura, Kelsey, would you be able to provide a greater perspective on your golf journey to help inspire my wife, i.e. why you're taking formal lessons, motivation, views on golf, goals, tips for other women? So, Luis, Luis's wife, um, I would say my perspective on golf before I started playing it was so boring, had no interest in it at whatsoever, um, but... It's kind of like when you start playing it, I always used to play top golf, by the way, but when you start playing it and you hit that one good shot, it makes you want to keep going and going and doing better, even though you had 12 terrible shots, that one good one really kind of pushes you forward. And I would say tips for other women is just like, have fun with it. Cause yeah, your husbands probably go out and golf all the time. And riding in the cart is not fun. You would think riding the cart is fun, but yeah. it's not. Um, get out there, like hit a play. couple balls. And like I said, that one good shot is going to make you want to play. Yeah, I think also like actually practicing and getting a little bit better yeah. makes things more fun. Mm -hmm. It's not like bowling, right? Where no. you can just go bowl and have fun yeah. if you're trash. Yeah. Golf, like if you're trash, it is not it's fun. It's miserable. <laughs> it is not fun. So practice a little bit and then you'll be good to go. Austin Ray, can you and all guests wear a mic? when you do course vlogs. When it's really windy, it can be hard to hear what you're saying. So that's one of the reasons why we didn't even have audio here is because the, the sound of this new mic we tried out was trash. Yeah, sorry. So I will be buying lav mics that we'll be having on ourselves. Yeah. So the audio will be way better in the Ten future, hopefully. Yeah. Um, because the setup we have right now, not on this video. It but worked set, indoors, it like, did not work outdoors. Yeah, Kapalua and stuff like that was windy and I don't know why, all the courses we play are always windy. We never really have calm days. Yeah. So I think getting the law of Mike, like you suggested, that's what we're moving towards for sure. All right, last one, Steven wants to know, what's on the horizon for the PDGA? For those that don't know, that's Professional Disc Golf Association. Just going to enter a tournament because you said you would or will you somewhat pursue getting better and playing larger tournaments. Um, and then he asks, Kelsey, what are you doing these days career-wise? Okay, so if you guys haven't seen, I posted something on my Instagram with my PDGA card, which basically just, it, anyone can do it. Kelsey could yeah. get one too if they wanted. But it was kind of my way of saying like, hey, I'm gonna actually yeah. start doing disc golf yeah. stuff. And this actually all spurred from the video I did with Simon and Paul. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch it. The trick shot video I did with them, I started throwing with them, I played a little bit with them, and I actually started liking it a lot more than I did in the past. And one of the reasons why I never really jumped into it, I just didn't really, I, in my head, I just didn't yeah. think I was gonna enjoy it. And I don't ever wanna do something and like pursue it if I'm not going to enjoy it. You know, same thing with YouTube. You'll never see me really post a video just to post a video to make money. I'm posting stuff that we actually enjoy filming. Yeah. So the disc golf thing, a lot of content is going to be coming on my main channel, uh, not this one. This one will still strictly be golf, Kelsey, uh, guests, golfers. pro golfers, challenges. But on my main channel, there will be a lot more disc golf if you want to follow the journey and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to be taking it seriously. I'm going to see how good I can get. Similar to kind of what I did uh, about eight or nine months ago on this channel where I just practiced all the time in golf and you know played in a couple tournaments and almost qualified for like the USAM. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to do that with disc golf, and we're going to see where it leads me. All right, Kelsey, uh, what are you doing career-wise? This is a tough question, I feel like, because it's kind of like putting me in the hot seat, because I don't really have a specific path that I'm following. I'm just kind of going with the flow, going right, with now. The flow right now. I have a degree. I could totally pursue that if I wanted to, but I obviously do not. Um, so I'm, I'm still, I'm 26. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out what I want to do. So, yeah, I think that's very important. I think sometimes people jump too much into a career and then and, they're miserable and, they're miserable. and, and you are kind of in a lucky situation where you don't necessarily have to work if you don't want to. Yep. Um, so I think it's way smarter to kind of sit back, pursue your options, try new things. And that, I mean, that's, I think that's huge is trying new things, especially in sports. Yeah. I think too many times at a young age, kids just get locked into one sport and that's the only thing they play where they actually would actually be way better at that sport if they play more sports. So, yeah. okay. We are now going to jump in to the golden club giveaway. I know you guys are all waiting for that. And uh, we'll say sayonara to you guys. Say sayonara to 2019 yeah. and have a big 2020. So we'll see you in a second for the winner. The winner of the Golden Club is. You want to hold this? And drop. Oh, and drop. drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Muller. John, I will be sending you an email, my friend. Congratulations. You are the winner of the, the Golden Go Club. He's from Ohio, too. Golden Dope. Bench. All right. He was entry number 8,559. Wow. There you go. All right, guys. Hopefully, you had an amazing 2019. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the post notifications. There's a little bell that uh, you can click, and every time we post, you guys will see when the video goes up. So click that. Do you have anything else for the people? 2020 is going to be amazing. 2020. I cannot wait. 2020. Kelsey, wish her good luck in the comments down below. Her first ever 18 holes starts tomorrow. We'll see what she shoots. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.